So in all likelihood, this is going to go really badly. This is my first ever attempt at gaming with my left hand on the caracorder. I've got my index finger set up to control movement, but also my thumb to, to add additional strafing left and right, as well as jumping by going forward with the thumb and crouching going back. So I should have a lot of great movement right here with my fingers. Um, a lot of my core abilities on these two fingers, um, as well as my communication menus, and then some, just some um, random basic stuff on these. I'll share my, my chord map later. Uh, but I'm probably going to forget where certain things are. And I'm not going to be used to the movement that over the last however many years of my life, the ASCW um, moving with all of these fingers together, now it's just going to be these two. I'm going to be uh, probably looking pretty stupid while I fight against people on this account who are roughly my regular keyboard skill level. So let's see where, how it goes. Um, usually I'd like to jump around in here. Feels pretty good. Crouch. This is Mystery Heroes in Overwatch. You get assigned a random hero in the shooter, and when you die, you get a new one. Okay. So far, feeling a little bit awkward here. I feel like when, I, when I'm going forward and then I try and use my thumb, I'm sometimes losing my grip. Mm -hmm. And... Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, let's not do that. Nope. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is not a good hero to start with. So Tracer moves around with one of her abilities and then recalls in time with another. But I was really struggling there with uh, with the basic movement. So uh, let's try this again. Okay, I want to fly to him. Okay, I did that. Let's see if I can pocket somebody. Maybe I can't shoot, but maybe I can pocket. Okay. I'm just going to concentrate on... Um, <laughs> I forgot to jump. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, jump, jump, jump. Thumb, 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 thumb. I can do this. Okay, to fly to somebody... Oh, I gotta hold thumb to stay flying. That's what I gotta do. So I... That finger... And then I hold my thumb. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this a little bit. Yeah, oh, someone needs healing. Okay, I'm gonna fly to you and save you. Now I'm gonna get away. Wasn't, wasn't terrible. So far, not making any use of the additional movement um, there in the thumb, just working on getting the, the pointer finger going here. <laughs> Fortunately, I will lose enough times that I will start fighting um, less hard people uh, eventually if I keep going with this. Okay. Brigitte's a melee a paladin healer. She's pretty squishy. Um, Okay, I'm gonna wanna heal some people. Yep. Okay. I, I can contest. Yep. I got this. Maybe I can actually uh, hit her. No? Not so much. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, battle another Brigitte. <laughs> She started with more health. I shouldn't have taken that fight. I'm taking damage. Oh. This is hard. I don't know which is harder, learning learning to type or uh, doing the gaming. Okay. 
This is one of my favorite heroes to play Doomfist. Um, okay, which button is um, the ground? Nope, that's going to be the uppercut. Okay. Couldn't remember which one was going to be which. I think I might want to switch those two, actually. Ability 1 and Ability 2. I'm not really liking my keyboard placement here. Oh, I killed something. You see that? Look at me. Okay. I am not horrible. So normally I would uh, uppercut my way up here. And I'd be looking to pound down the stairs. Okay. It was a little rough, but we won. Let's drink a little bit of seltzer water here. Some caffeine and B vitamin supplement. A little extra energy. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be interesting. Lucio can ride on the walls if you hold down the jump key. So I'm going to be trying to keep my thumb engaged while directing my hero with my finger and at the same time shooting um reloading let's see pumping it up what's his other ability oh switching switching between healing and speed okay we can do this i can jump okay lots of jumping with lucio that's what we like to do lots of jumping oh that's that's a little bit tricky. Okay, run away. Okay, definitely need to switch there. I'm finding I want to push my fingers forward instead of pull them back. I like I I, I thought doing the fingers down would be the way I wanted to go, but um, to use my abilities, I'm kind of wanting to to extend my fingers, which is not what I expected. Okay. So, I will fix that for the next map. Okay. Let's get you healed up. Okay, let's see if I can do a little thumb strafing here. Uh oh. So here we definitely needed uh, not to panic. <laughs> I did not. Normally I would have been able to have a decent chance of getting out of that, but I I was not prepared. <laughs> not prepared. But I think we're going to win. I'm just going to pretend like I, I can't even see. I don't even want to know who's shooting at me. Oh, this feels, feels so weird. It's especially weird because my right hand feels normal, and then my left hand feels strange. But so much of your movement is, is both hands combined. Like, you don't realize how much of your, your aim is based on how you're also moving to dodge or to... Um, your, how much of not getting shot has to do with shooting accurately at the other person, stuff like that. And here we go, we're gonna... Gonna walk away with a win. Let's see if I can remember where my ultimate is. There it is.
the team should be able to finish that, but maybe not. Looks like they were having a hard time with that Reaper. No. The fight continues. Maybe I can get a, a res in there. So I was able to remember the correct key for the res there. That felt good. But def definitely feeling <laughs> not coordinated. <laughs> Very out of sorts. My business, my and we get the win. Lamb is victorious in his first ever FPS game on the Care Recorder. Now, I'm gonna... Let's see. On this one, I've got my ability down I think I want to make this d different so that how do I want to do it it just feels weird I'm gonna I think I'm gonna give it another another try I'm not gonna abandon this yet but, um, we're gonna, we're gonna have to give this another shot in terms of the, how we're doing, doing the different abilities. Oh, I wanted to switch them. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Just gonna go in here and switch those. Oh, okay. So ability one and ability two. see if we can find ourselves another match. Seems to be going good. So I just wanted to point out that there is a there is a mouse and arrow key built in right here, the black keys. Um, this is more like if you've ever used, uh, if you've ever tried to use like a PlayStation controller or, or an Xbox controller, like control a web browser on your TV, um, the the mouse moves like left, right, up, down. It kind of controls the cursor in a very rigid, rudimentary way. It, you couldn't use it for a first person shooter. It's not like a trackball or a joystick in the traditional sense. Um, it works okay for like jumping around in a text block if you if you're coding or if you if you're a writer and you want to scroll up a few paragraphs or something or insert the um, the cursor somewhere you can use that to kind of jump around and you can actually control how fast the mouse moves um, to to your liking so it's good for like little things like that if you don't want to take your hand off the keyboard but you need to nudge the mouse to click somewhere else and um, there's actually mouse click buttons built in as well uh, down here. Click. But um, in terms of using it like for gaming, like if you had this some idea that you were going to be doing this with the, the care recorder, this is not this edition. This version of it is not going to do that. I could see um, in the future, actually, um, maybe something where they build a, a, an awesome trackball or something into there and 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 have a, a second position for gaming. But, you know, a lot of us really like the accuracy of a, you know, a high quality gaming mouse. And so it's it's hard to think that they're gonna bake all of that into a little tiny form factor here, how that how that would work. Um, but it, it's not it's not a problem and it's not a complaint. I just wanted to let everybody know. So here we are. Um, got a good looking team composition for this Mystery Heroes. And we'll see how this goes. I, now I need to get shot and see if I can manage. Okay, so it's that one. Left one for me, right one for the others. Okay. 
that worked? Okay, gotta remember to shoot. Normally I'd be shooting right now. That's part of this. Movement getting a little bit better. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oof, still not, still not feeling it. That my my instinct is actually to move my middle finger to go forward and back. Um, I didn't set up the keys that way. You know, I'm used to using three fingers for movement and then sticking them out in various ways. Um, might be interesting actually to to try a to try that. Like something kind of more like WASD, where the middle key, like your your index finger here, is forward and back, and and maybe these ones help control lateral movement with the up and down being your abilities or something like that. Could be a little bit more familiar. Um, right now you can't do that because uh, middle finger forward is delete, on, son, and it it just doesn't. Uh... Oh, someone's ta talking to me. Actually, get a kill there. Let's, let's give this another try. Okay, I'm, I'm using the correct abilities. The Sigma is annoying me, but I'm not dead. No one can hide from my sight. Okay. No one can hide from my sight. something okay got an elimination <laughs> brats feeling good feeling good okay so I want to fade forward good jump this is actually my my best hero So much for that. Can you get out, Hawk and Dust? Um, that wasn't my best hero, but um, her kit is is kind of complex to use really well. <laughs> no, not Tracer again. Okay. <laughs> okay, I rem I did remember the correct key to use the teleporter, so that was good. This definitely uh, not not helping out the team here. <laughs> Maybe I can get like a sniper and I can just sit back and. Oh great. Okay. This this used to be my my main. D Diva, I like this. I, I like this tank. They really made her very aggressive. A very movement based hero. Separate when we have healers. That's the best idea anybody has ever had. And 
toxicity like usual in Overwatch on the voice channel. But uh, that went about more like I expected this to go. So uh, <laughs> now you've seen my, my first experience with this. I should probably go back to playing with bots and, and give it a try, but I, I wanted to test it out in the real world to see really how intense it would be. Um, I think I have a little more work to do in terms of mapping the different um, actions. I'm not loving uh, having this finger constantly engaged uh, versus what I'm used to, which is having my middle finger engaged. So we're just going to have to get that sorted out. But I hope this was at least somewhat informative or interesting to those of you who are thinking about gaming on this controller. I'd say my overall feedback on it is that um, it's, it's a work in progress. It's still kind of in a beta stage. They're going to put together a game mode, and um, that's going to make some of the key configuration stuff a little bit easier, and it's going to take away uh, some of the, the issues like I can't bind this to go forward. It just doesn't work in the right way because I think it's it's a delete key um, in the normal layout. So um, I was having a little bit trouble with the with the different um, things. Likewise, like on the on the pinky control here, only up and to the right work. I can't buy bind left and down because these are um, actions that are specific to the care recorder um, that have to do with the cording. And they aren't actually real keystrokes as far as Windows is concerned. So um, still a few things to work out, but uh, I know that the team wants to make this a, a, a device for gaming. And I think that they're going to continue to refine what that experience looks like and feels like. And certainly having typed and done chords typing, I could see how using this for something like World of Warcraft, for example, I used to play PvP as a rogue and I had 30 or 40 different um, keyboard shortcuts bound with all these different key combinations and being able to chord those key combinations here to get all those abilities off could be really powerful um, if we can figure out the movement. So that's my, that's my take. Um, hope you enjoy the video.